Oh, this is gonna be epic. Oh, I might hit one of those little walls. And, oh! I'm flattened. Completely. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, giving you guys a quick look at Dream Car Racing 3D. This is a game very similar to BeamNG, where you can drive around. It's a physics-based game where you can crash cars. Uh, it's got the soft body physics on the cars, but there's one big difference. You can build your own cars in this game, and the building system is absolutely amazing. If not a bit overwhelming, but I'm trying to learn it. Uh, we're going to jump into it a little bit, and maybe I'll try to design a car. I can't guarantee it's going to go very good. But we can go drive some cars that are in the game, and I think some have been published to the workshop, so we'll be able to check those out. Uh, check out a couple maps, crash some cars, attempt to design a car, just do all sorts of things here. But anyways, this came out a couple days ago. I'll put all the information in the description about the game. And let's go ahead and jump right into this. Alright guys, I've already put a car together and we are ready to go. Not really. No, no way I could build this. Uh, this is one of the cars that comes in the game. This was, I think, created by the actual creator of the game. Now, this game does have workshop support, so say if you want to download some other user-created cars, and say if I'm able to build a car, I can upload it onto the workshop. So you can do that. So hopefully there's going to be a an endless amount of content. Now, you can also download maps on the workshop, so that's really cool, too. But yeah, this is the car creator. Now, you can start from scratch. You can start from just the driver's seat. Uh, they have a default design that is kind of a starting point to show you a working design, but something that you can definitely add to. Uh, like I said, this is something that was created in the game, and you can see all these little bars, all these little frame bars, the uh, wheels, the shocks, the steering rod, the engine is, I believe, right here in the back. Yeah, you get to design all of that. So, say you don't like this design, say you want something a little wider, we can go ahead and just grab that point and, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here, actually I think I'm grabbing the wrong point, let's, uh, let's grab this point. Uh, you can stretch all of this out, so say we want the wheels extra long, that doesn't really make sense, I believe those red bars are maybe like a stress point or maybe somewhere where this design isn't going to work, I'm not 100% sure, haven't figured that one out yet. Uh, you can adjust every one of these little circle points. So, say you move it out like this, and oh, well, obviously that's not going to work, so you can always just undo. Undo. There we go, it's back into place. Uh, say the frame up here, we need to extend that out. That looks really goofy, but you can do it. Let's go ahead and stretch this out to the back. We're going to make it uh, look a little bit more like... Actually, that kind of looks like the Munsters car. Huh. It's odd. Uh, we can stretch this part here. And we'll stretch this front end out. So now we have a really goofy looking car, but we can go test this car and see if it actually still functions, which I'm really doubting it, but yeah, let's go into a map. If it doesn't function, I'm going to reset and just show you guys how this works with a normal car, or at least a car that functions. And I'll show you guys, this game also has soft body physics like Beam and G, so you can take your cars out and wrap them around a tree. So anyways, let's go ahead and go into the map. As you can see, this car no longer functions. It doesn't even set off of the ground, so I bet you the back wheel still turn. I actually, you know, I think it's a front wheel drive too, so... Oh! What the heck? Okay. Yeah, as you can see, I've completely ruined the design on this car. It somewhat functions. It drives in a straight line really good. Uh, kind of a wall over here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. I think I need to reset. Let me go ahead and reset this car the way it was. Alrighty, car is back to normal. As you can see, it drives, it functions well. I love the way the suspension is in the front. Uh, you can see it kind of moving up and down. Uh, the Everything seems to work, which this is a really cool design. So I really think that you could take maybe a chassis, a roll cage uh, from online, and probably transfer it over into this game, which I'm thinking about doing that because I have no idea how to create a working chassis or a working roll cage. Um, the structural integrity on mine is going to be like a paper house in a windstorm. It's it's just going to be non-existent. Uh, from what I've already tried and what I'm thinking of in my head, I want to try. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see if it works. Put it that way. But anyways, I want to go. Actually, I want to take it off that hill and I want to jump it. Um, I'm going to go over there real quick. All right, guys, we are ready to hop off this big jump. 
I think there's a slow-mo button. I probably need to figure out which one that is, but... Oh, well, I'll let you guys see the uh, soft body physics in full speed here. So here we go. Oh, this is going to be epic. Oh, I might hit one of those little walls. And... Oh! I'm flattened. Completely. Wow. Does it still drive, though? I can still hear the engine running. Okay. All right, well, apparently they don't have it where once you actually crash. I know BeamNG, once you damage the motor or damage something beyond it actually driving, it, it actually stops. But seems like we haven't quite gotten there yet, but that was still awesome looking. Uh, let's see what happens when we just clip a wall. See if we can just maybe shed a wheel or something. Uh, that one looks like a good wall to clip, so here we go. Boom! Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I don't know if I can fall off that. Uh, let's, you know, let's back off it real quick. I don't know how the car is actually still functioning, but here we go. Nope, that's a wall. Yeah, let me uh, grab another vehicle as an example real quick. All right, I've got one more car that I'm gonna look at and then we are gonna go design our own car. Uh, we are on the default map and this is actually a car from the workshop. So this is something that's been freshly created and I'm really digging the way this looks. I love that suspension, that's awesome. Uh, question is, how does it function? Now this is a damageable car, so we'll see how the suspension works here and Oh, that's actually a really nice ride. I love that. That's pleasant. Uh, how many of the wheels actually turn? Uh, let's see. Okay, so it's the front two and the back two turn together. That's cool. I wonder how he did that. When I was looking through all like the steering rods, I don't know if there's a way to kind of reverse what one does. There's Actually, no, it looks like they're all crossed up under there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out the way this thing functions because this is awesome. Like, I, I'm already in love with this. I uh, downloaded one more from the workshop, and I'm gonna check it. Oh, there goes one wheel. You know, we still have seven more wheels to go, so we're okay. And oh, we're probably about to lose another one. Nope. Oh, that's a really, see that roll bar is really sturdy compared to the uh, buggy. And of course we did launch, launch the buggy off like 10 stories, and it's probably why it flattened like a pancake, but let's reset that real quick. Yeah, I really look forward to having maybe some awesome mountain climbing maps like this one's pretty cool but I would like to see like a dedicated course and uh, that's another thing that you can do in the game you can also create races uh, they have like these time trials uh, you can just do like random ones or you can actually set the waypoints in the map so once you have some of these awesome custom maps uh, you can set up some some really complex races all right I've got one more vehicle from the workshop and oh that's gonna hurt oh actually that vehicle is also really sturdy except for the wheels but I don't know, the guy's, no, nope, never mind, the guy's not okay. He doesn't have anything covering him. This is an awesome vehicle, and that suspension works really good. You can see it just flexing up and down. Let's take it over some bumps here. That's awesome. That, uh, I really need to look at this design and kind of basically pull it apart to see exactly how this is working, because uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come up with something like that. Oh, oh, there we go. This car kind of bounces. It's weird. It's got a, it's got a nice bounce to it. Uh, the driver's kind of exposed, but uh, other than that, I would say this is a well-designed car, and what is that? So he's got the steering up here, and he's got the engine there. I think he says on the description, there might be, there's another one there. Heck, there could be, I don't see anything, you can somewhat see into the body there, and I don't see any other engines, so I guess just two, two motors, one for the uh, front and one for the back, I'm assuming. This is a little wacky design. I'm really excited to see what people start coming out with because I imagine with all the parts that they give you, it's they're gonna see you're gonna see some really crazy stuff. All right, here we go. Here comes another jump. Ah, uh, that's cool. All right, I think it's time that we actually go design one of our own cars. Uh, I think we're gonna go with an off-road buggy, similar to something like this. I kind of want something with a full roll cage on it, and we'll just see what happens. I cannot make any guarantees I actually think I'm gonna start from scratch but I'm gonna show you guys the default template that you can use uh, just a functioning very basic car and then I, I do believe I'm gonna attempt to make one from scratch so all right this is the default design this is the working very basic you can modify this if you wanted to like I can just drag say I want to drag these out we can highlight those maybe modify the tires let's go to the wheels Let's give it some really fat wheels. There we go. 
So now it looks ridiculous, but you know, it's a uh, kind of our own design here. But yeah, you can modify this, but I think, wow, that, that surely isn't gonna work, is it? No, I might have to test this out real quick. I think I've broken everything. I think the, I believe that's what the red means. I need to look that up. Uh, let's see, let's do that. Let's make some really big wheels back here. I'm also kind of studying the way they did this frame. Uh, let's see, everything seems to be centered here in the middle. Get that bar. Let's uh, stretch this front end out a little bit. I don't know where the driver, you know, let's just make the driver go up here. There we go. All right, let's just look at this just real quick. Nope, that does not function. There's no way that actually drives. It's trying to. The wheel's still somewhat turned, but I think they're way too big for like all the, the steering rod and just the whole suspension setup. But yeah, that's just kind of some of the crazy stuff you can do. But I think we need to design our own little car. So let's go ahead and clear this off. So we're gonna go, I believe down here to menu and clear design. All right, so now we have our basic vehicle. So, I've got the symmetry mode on, so it's gonna, whatever I do on one side, it's gonna do on the other, which is really handy. I can't think of any other way doing this. Uh, I'm assuming if you want it to just do one side, you can do that. Say you wanna make a, like an asymmetrical type car, which I don't, I don't know if I've ever really seen one. Uh, let's see, let's go out to here. So we're gonna have this come up. You know, you could probably make a really awesome looking ATV or something, which, Kind of want to do that, but uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and stick with the buggy design here. So you can see your axis, like right here, your Y and your X. So let's try to make sure this is kind of flat. No, let me up like that. There we go. So we got that as our bottom. So we're going to do that. Let's add something across like that. And I think I need to make these support beams. Uh, at least I believe that's what I've got to do. So I'm going to highlight all the frame down here and then we're going to select you can go through and when you highlight you can cycle through so we're gonna cycle to frame and we're gonna change this to support so we've got a big I guess we can call this a beefy frame in the bottom so let's kind of stretch that out a bit so there we go we got a bottom I don't even know if this is gonna hold up but it, it looks kind of cool so we've got that is it kind of sl yeah it is slanted up a bit so let's curve that down and maybe make the back go up slightly there we go so we've got that. So basically what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna design a cage around it, or at least I'm gonna attempt to design a cage and maybe we can try to keep the, di the driver from dying. All right, from what I'm gathering here, I think why these are red is because of how long they are. I think that's, like when I highlight one of these frame pieces, say I grab this one, the length is in red. I wonder if that's gonna create some sort of weakness. now. I don't know if you can add maybe some struts or supports in here, which let's see what happens. Say when I cross it, I don't know, down like that. Is that gonna help anything? If I say if that's made into a support or did I just make it worse? I could have just made it worse. Uh, let's see what happens when I move the center point. Nope, that, see that screws up that. Okay, okay, the bottoms are good now. So let's shorten it. Let's see what shortening this whole frame is like and just see if we can make those stress points disappear. Try to make our problems disappear, basically. Okay, see, it's working a little bit, but now my design is changing. So I think that's why they have all those little bars so close together. Is that, what helps this thing? You know what, let's do it right about there. And let's shorten that, and then I'll make a whole bunch of more supports, and oh, this is gonna be painful. I'm having to change up my whole design here. It actually looked kind of cool, but I, I guess it's just way too long. And it's just not gonna function correctly. Or it's not gonna be safe. I uh, talked about that structural integrity. Well, that looks actually decent for a start. So I'm gonna continue to add some pieces. Uh, Actually, that top part is way too wide. There we go. I'm gonna add some pieces. I'm probably gonna add a crossbar up here at the top. Maybe, I don't know, something like Something like that, and I don't know how that side, is one side longer than the other? It doesn't look like it, it just didn't like what I did there. There we go. Alright, well I'm gonna put together some more of this frame, but I guess we've corrected some of our issues. Now I'm still gonna change some of these into support pieces, because I feel like that's important, I believe. So, we'll uh, switch some of these up and I'll continue this frame. 
All right, we have our very basic frame, and this actually doesn't look terrible, uh, I'll admit. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we now need to install, I believe, a motor wheels. Let's see what we all need to do here. Hmm, wheels. You know, I really would like the wheels going off something in the center, so I know you can build like a transmission line with the uh, frame. You gotta switch it to transmission. Uh, maybe we should place our motor first. So I think, let's stick it. No, actually, let's stick it in the front. Or do I have room? It might be easier to stick it in the rear, so let's go here. Onto this one, and can I go right in the center? It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing here, so can I? Actually, I think it did mount. There we go. Okay, engine's mounted in the back, so we can do that, and we can adjust the power on the motor, so we want a big engine. So let's go uh, adjust that. I mean, you can adjust everything. As soon as you get your wheels in, as soon as you get your suspension in, you can adjust the amount of compression. I mean, just tons of options here, so... Uh, let's go with wheels next and see if we can figure it out from there. So wheels, ooh, didn't really leave myself an option here. So let's uh go out a little bit. Say, actually, let me turn the uh, symmetry mode back on. There we go. Go out. I'm gonna connect about like that, and then I can hang the wheels off the front here. So something like that. Okay, those look a little silly right now. So bear with me. Uh, we're gonna move these probably down and let's see are they back see I love how you can adjust it on this left side too this helps a lot so do that they might be poking out a little too long I don't know let's make them bigger and we'll see just how far they should poke out so bigger and wider and then we'll have the the back wheels be really big so let's go ahead and maybe skinny that a little to the body that actually looks pretty good so all right, let's go ahead and hang the wheels back in the back. I don't know if this is going to exactly work here, so let's adjust those out. There we go. I'm going to try to line them up a little better. That looks okay. Maybe down just a bit. And now let's make these big and wide. So let's go ahead and select the wheels uh, like that. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's not wanting to grab here. Let's go ahead and select the whole back end. There we go. So wheels, they've got to be big. I don't really, I don't think it matters like what they're like. So let's make them just huge. I don't, I'm not going to have the exact measurements. Nothing's matched up here. Uh, what is this? Is that adding? Okay, this is something about friction and weight. I don't even want to attempt to just adjust that right now. Uh, I'm happy with what I have. So we've got that. So the wheels are good. This looks a little goofy, but... Just, uh, I'm going to roll with it here. I think we can definitely make this work. Let me go ahead and move those wheels just a bit. Actually, that's shifting the whole frame, so I think I need to just select here. There we go. There we go. That's not bad. I would say that's going to work. So we've got our basic buggy right now. We need to move on. We've got our engine in. Uh, shocks, we're going to hang them from probably the top of the frame here, so that looks like it works. And then, uh-oh. I guess we made some sort of stress point. I don't know, everything went red, so let's go ahead and adjust that back. The frame down here is not like, and there we go. All right, that's good. And let's get another shock here in the back. So from the wheel, and I guess back here. Okay, that went on. Uh, like I said, you can adjust the shocks, uh, the compression, hardness, dampening, uh, quite a bit for options there, so. Steering rod. Okay, I think we're going to steer from the front, so I think we need to connect from here. I believe it works like that. I could be completely wrong. Actually, I don't think that's right. I think it works maybe steering rod goes from maybe here to here. And it deleted my wheel, so obviously that's not right either. Let's go ahead and control Z. Hmm. Does it need an additional bar to hang off of, or is this technically the rod here? We'll have to see when we set it down on the ground and see if it turns. Uh, before I mess with that. Uh, let's see, I think the last thing we need to do is to connect the motor to the wheels. So we need like a transmission, and I don't know how that exactly works. So is it something like from the, let's go from the back wheels. Can I go to the motor like that? And then say, switch it to transmission. That works, actually it's stressed out again. Let's see if we can skinny that up. That worked. Okay, are we even? We look pretty even on each side. We're a little low in the front, so we might 
wonder if I can just move up. Nope, that turns the wheels. Uh, can we do it from here? Is that going to do the same thing? Actually, we can move that back. That looks a little looks a little better, but it actually put us back in the red. So let's go back that way. I don't know. This may or may not work. So let's put that up. Maybe pop that out a little more like a bumper. There we go. And can I move that slightly forward? Look like it. Try to make it look like it makes a little more sense. All right, let's see if this thing even functions. Now this might just completely collapse. So here we go. Wow, that folded up. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. I don't understand what just happened. Oh man, I, I yeah, I don't understand what I'm doing right now. It looks good like when it's setting there, but obviously there's something majorly wrong with it. And I thought maybe I cleared that up. Uh, let's change. Let's change the frame to just all. Let's go to solid, and then we're gonna change it. Make sure it changes all over to support. Does that help? Does that make this thing stiffen up? Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm looking for weak spots, or what I can tell what might be a weak spot. I'm not an engineer, so I have no clue what I'm doing here. So. Uh, link the wheels to the engine. I thought I had that. Oh, of course, I changed the uh, links here. Actually, you know what? Where's the link to the engine here? I believe it's uh, possibly, I think it's this one. So, transmission. That should change that. Should be good now. Nope, still fell apart. Okay, well, obviously, I've got a little bit of homework to do, guys. Uh, that doesn't work at all. So, what we're going to do. We're gonna exit that. I actually kind of want to save that frame. I'm gonna save this frame and then we're gonna switch to the default design, adjust it a little bit, and then we'll drive it around and then call it a day here. I'm kind of looking at what I did wrong on my last one and I'm starting to get some ideas of like what I could do next time. I'm looking at the way their suspension set up and just the way the uh, the transmission, everything. And wow, this this is actually really nice. I, I should probably look at this next time, but. Anyways, guys, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this quick look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to, like and subscribe. Everything helps my channel, and that looks really funny. But yeah, if you want to check this game out, it came out a couple days ago. I'll link it, link it in the description. It is on Steam. But anyways, hope you guys have a good day, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.